Well, today, we're gonna start the day off right. We're here in Rancho Santa Fe, where some of the most exotic cars that I've ever seen, all in one place. The diversity of cars that are here. It's a Morgan. Damn, now that's a cruiser right there. This is like something out of like Judge Dredd. What the what? I can't even fit the GoPro in there. Look at that. Let me show you this. Beautifully restored Bronco. Uh, that doesn't go there. What's he up to? I just, you know what? I didn't want. Sweet little Carrera GT. And we have a 918 Spider. I'd drive it. I'd drive the shit out of it. We have a Tibetan Mastiff. Oh gosh, do you really? We have really? a massive one too. Oh my with gosh. Humongous. Oh. The skinny version of my dog. <laughs> I'll just take this whole row. Fastback E30 M3. Yes, please. Free, please. Fishing buddy Ron. We ain't catching right now though, it's too cold. <laughs> little Cobra. Nice little Alpha. Lots of Dotsons. Beautifully done. Very classy. It's got the wide flares. The 80s ducktail. A very unmolested NSX. Hey, I gotta introduce you to one of my good friends, Enrico Delmar. He's He's Modern Image, down here in San Diego, doing, California. Guys? If you need your car wrapped or clear broad or anything, this is the dude right here. This guy's the man right here. If I was gonna buy a daily driver and pretty much not touch it, I feel like this is, from the factory, the best new car that you could possibly buy. The GT3 RS. Maybe the GT2 RS is, is pretty badass too. Oh, what do you know? A GT2 RS. Sign me up, coach. This is definitely my favorite factory car to date that you can just go buy and shred on. Yo, I need to borrow your car real quick. Okay, that's pretty cute. Back to the regular scheduled program now. It's not the new ZR1, but hands down, best bang for the buck. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I only take my hat off for one thing. All kinds of freshies just pulling in. Oh, this guy is never gonna park like that. We might wanna film this. Better. That's a redo. That's a redo. That's gonna, that's gonna come up as a... Uh, I'm gonna flag this guy. <laughs> We're gonna have to use the fast forward button on this part, job. <laughs> You're making him nervous. Oh, he's going for it again. There's no way. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's really going, he's gone bad. Wow, here we go. I, I, don't, I can't tell if he's coming or going. Oh, he's got it. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I... So back when I had my skateboard bowl in my backyard, um, one of my neighbors was Zach. We called him board caddy because he would come over 
and he would skate with us all the time but he was just learning so he ended up just kind of retrieving our boards all the time but now he is selling exotic cars and this is the mclaren 720s that he brought and we're gonna go say hi to him all right everyone say hi to my buddy board caddy you zach lara if you're looking to buy a supercar come talk to my buddy here I uh, work at O'Gara Coach in La Jolla. Uh, we specialize in McLaren, Lamborghini, Bentley, Bugatti, Rolls-Royce. We're the number one brand dealer uh, in the world. Yeah, come by and check it out. Actually, I was thinking about like maybe going for a ride in something that you might have here today. It's a 720S. Oh, gosh, wait, wait, where is that car? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Wait, is it? Uh... Go have a seat in this thing and make sure I don't have anything in my pockets because I do not feel like buying this car right now. <laughs> I didn't bring enough cash with me. Oh yeah, feels pretty good in here. This car's got 710 horsepower, 568 pound-feet of torque. It's a rocket ship on wheels. This is the most badass car I've ever sat in and I've sat in a lot of cars. I mean it's not a race car but for a factory car. Here we go, let's start this puppy up. Check this out. Call that fighter pilot mode. Wow. <laughs> Take you for a spin real quick. All right. Listen to the sound of that. tone is music beautiful music to the ears the shifting is so precise and sharp i would definitely first upgrade i would do would be some slicks it's the best bang for your buck for under a million dollars you know it's zero he just, to 60 he, just he just said the best bang for your buck for under a million <laughs> that's amazing so we're gonna connect with Zach and we're gonna go down to the dealership and we're gonna go rip on some supercars. I wanna thank Zach for taking me for a ride in this beautiful 720S and I definitely look forward to getting behind the wheel of it. Absolutely, looking forward to it, Sam. Thanks guys. How the hell do you get out of this thing? Later bud. See ya. How do you shut it? Next time I'm taking the keys and I'm out. This car is beautiful. It's like a Shelby. Yeah, I have one of these too. It's all covered up by modifications though now. Uh. <laughs> Can you tell us what you got going on with the wing back there? Ah, so what I then done to it is I cut it and made it adjustable. You did this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello to my little buddies. I don't know I if you guys saw, but these guys drew a picture. Hey, wait, who's that for? Can I say hi to him? Yeah. Hi, Buck Elastic. This is for you. Help you be okay with it. For me. That picture is awesome, by the way. I've got friends who We both got golden wheels. Oh, sick. I hope you got a present for our parents because they deserve it. It's my wife, Daniel. Hi. Look what I got for you guys. That is so cool. Thank you, Bucky. We got a couple keychains for you. This is my boys right here. Yee! Bucky, yeah. <laughs> now we're headed to get a bite to eat, and then we're gonna head over to Metro Performance, where I'm gonna meet up with Brian from iWire. He has an Impreza that he swapped back in 2005, 
I believe, to a picky went EJ on it, but then he swapped the swap and he got a 3.6 out of a Tribeca. All right, pulling up the Metro now. Looks like Brian and Whitney are all here. Cars on the dyno. The beers are cracked. Yes! What's up, fellas? We were hoping you'd rip the, the handbrake, but I see you have something in your hand. Yeah, I'm ripping the handbrake right here. <laughs> it still works, right? What's up, Danny? What's up, dude? What's up? What's up, Brian? Congratulations. Okay. Thanks, sir. Today's the big day. Yeah, I get to supervise. This is the best part. Right. You know what you need to supervise? <laughs> uh, beer. Got some gluten free over there or some Tito's? We, we uh, have the Tito's for you. We're waiting. You're the rock star. Yeah, you're the rock star bringer. Uh oh. Oh. oh, you know I got rock stars. <laughs> okay, okay. I was just waiting for that awkward pause. <laughs> well, you got it. Nailed it. You got what you're looking we for. We got Frank in the house. What up, buddy? Whitney. Hello. What's up, Hello. girl? Hey, good to see you. Stoked? Yes. It's by far my favorite RS. Oh. And now that it's actually running. Now it's cool. Yeah, it's really cool now. Now it's just not a, a beauty garage queen. Now oh, it's, it still will be that. It just, yeah, but. But it has the ability to not be that. Yeah. If I choose to drive it. We got Sean in the house. Good. Who we got tuning this thing today this since you're Travis. not in there? Travis is tuning it. He's from Snail Performance and he works out at M45. So go talk to him because he's the man. Self spumps. All right. Travis. Let's go say hi to Travis. Hi, Travis. What's up? Bucky, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you again. How's it going in there? Great. Trying to get this thing up and running, make did it we, happy. Did we already do some runs yet? No, we're just getting the base mount kind of set up to make it happy before we get started doing pools. Fashionably late, but on time. <laughs> and Danny, we just, uh, yeah. we know that you, uh, you just built a custom exhaust for this car. I did, yes. Yes. Turned out nice. We're gonna hear sounds, it very shortly. Sounds really good. Did the fuel system as well. Fuel system. This car. I have Brian from iWire here and he's gonna tell me a little bit more about his car. So I bought this car in 2005. It was on the East Coast. Uh, somebody had it on jack stands. It was completely flat blacked and re wrecked on the front end. Shipped it over here, rebuilt it, had an STI engine in it till 2014, 15. Then we took it out for a, a big project that's been sitting. It's now a 3.6 out of a Tribeca in 2010. And uh, has six speed in it, DCCD, Custom exhaust, thanks to Metro, and uh, we'll see what kind of power it makes. We'll see what kind of smile we can put <laughs> on this damn face right here. Woo! Hopefully. Waldo in the house. Hey. What's up? I'm a little late. My bad. Damn. No. Whoa. Yeah, I can catch. Up. <laughs> Check out Metro shop car. Uh, our built 2.5. Nice. Uh, 280 cam, all BC products. Uh, 35 to 30, it's a hybrid turbo from Rubin. Yeah, built like 37R. Nice. Um, so we're on 40 pounds on our block. Very good. It's holding right now. Yeah. What's it? What's it pushing out? 700. No, really? Yeah. Holy crap. yeah, we'll pull up the dynogram. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 700 what, watts? <laughs> Kilos. <laughs> Number one.
makes the same as a stock STI right now. So we'll see. Let them do their magic. Yeah, so give us a little rundown on uh, Brian's car here. So we uh, went in and tuned it up on the Haltech. It was, uh, what did we, we started like the 220, 220 I believe it was. And we got it up to 224, which not a big jump, but the main thing is we gained a lot of average power over the entire curve. Mm -hmm. uh, down low, I think we ended up gaining almost 10 average uh, horsepower and torque, mm -hmm. which that's a big gain that a lot of people don't get. They always think peak numbers, peak numbers. Right. Uh, but for an NA flat six, we're yeah. gaining 10. Uh, Will horsepower and torque down low, that's a big feat. He's gonna definitely fill that on the street and be a lot of fun. No issues, car ran great, so kudos for everyone that worked on that thing, made it run awesome. I forgot how to drive this car. I can show you how to drive it. I know it. you can, and I probably let you anyway. Ooh! Thanks Travis and everybody else. You guys rule. I feel like I've been overhauled. <laughs> Can we get official man oh, bring it in, bro. on the fish bowl? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Here's the Brian after five 